they did such a good job of like making him feel super super fast like the camera almost can't keep up really good slow-mo use there and i love this feeling of organic versus machine on my cinematic journey through games i've never covered sonic so i'm so excited today to check out sonic unleashed opening cutscene this video was chosen by our dragoon tier member autophobia if you want to choose a video for me to react to click that join button become a dragoon i'm so excited for this sonic lore masters join me in battle this is gonna be fun i played sonic for the sega genesis loved it that's as deep as i've gone though really cool opening here kind of establishing the space no pun intended very grand, epic feel, very Star Wars. Yes! Love it. It's Jim Carrey. No. <laughs> and there's Sonic. So where is this? Is this a spaceship? Is this on a planet? I really like the epic feel to this. Oh man, the speed. They did such a good job of like making him feel super, super fast. Like the camera almost can't keep up. Really good slow-mo use there. To emphasize just how fast he is. And I love this feeling of organic versus machine. Right? Like Dr. Robotnik has all of these insane like weapons and technology. And he's just this little guy running around and you can't help but root for him. Really nice camera choreography. This is just fun too, I love it. It's got, it's got high energy, really high energy to it. Hi, uh, how you doing? He's gonna love love, isn't he? Is he going Super Saiyan? Yeah, he's going Super Saiyan! <laughs> yes! What is this transformation called? I, I've seen it. I can't remember what it's called though. But I heard it was inspired by Super Saiyan. Man, look at the flame, dude. That was so well done. So he can just fly with that power? Oh man, he's OP. It really is in space. That's incredible. So I love how we start... Uh, and Medias Race, as I said, we start in the middle of the scene, and I hope we're gonna kind of learn more about what's happening. This is like in the middle of a big conflict, a climactic conflict. Can we talk about the music? Really, look, go easy on me. Incredible music. Just give me a chance. Great voice. Well, this is new. Showing remorse, Eggman. If you played nice, I wouldn't have to break all your toys. Oh, he's not playing nice. I like Sonic's voice too, it's very just kinda doesn't really care. Like he's pretty blase concerning the situation. Ooh. Whoa. Oh no. So he took he took the he took the crystals from him, so he can't power up anymore. I like this. I like this a lot. It's a good conflict for the beginning. It's alright. Sonic's like unstoppable with that power. Let's take it away from him. Let's make it interesting. I just love the mood too. It's, it's very fun. It's very lighthearted. Even though there's a lot at stake here. Because of the art style and the visual style that's chosen, it has like a very, you know, has a very light feel to it. And I mean that in a good way. I mean that as a compliment. Like, it's a very feel-good watch, and there's a lot of conflict right now. Like, we've watched a lot of very dark, serious stuff on this channel, and this is just like... That's a different mood. What is happening to the, to the planet? <laughs> even he's like, whoa. I love it. Yeah, what the... I don't even know what this came out for. I'm so out of the loop on Sonic, like... Yeah, give me the, give me the backstory. Yes. Incredible. Really nicely done. Look at the fur. Wait, what is what is happening to him? 
What is happening to him? What? What is happening to Sonic? That's not normal, man. That's not normal. Dude, he's on the juice, man. He's on the sauce. A brilliant success. What did he do to him? Just as the Gaia manuscripts foretold, the entity that was sealed within the planet has awakened. That's not right. Just man. need to harness its power. Eggman Land will finally come to be. I love his yeah. voice. I know that you voice actor really too. Gone and done it this time, Eggman. Ah, oh, Sonic. What the heck That's happened a good to him? Look for you. Festive. So long, friend. Festive. That's funny. What? What is Sonic? Dude, bug. He's on the sauce, man. He's on the juice. Why did he become like that, though? Like, what's the lore? Because they took his other power? There's some residual power inside him? Sonic Unleashed. There you go, man. He's unleashed. There's a scratch on the screen. I love it. Kind of setting the mood. And what is this alien specimen? Like... Terrifying. Werewolf? Who's a werewolf? Creepy, man. Whoa, yeah, the planet's just ripped right open. So what I like about this is I instantly am like, all right, that's gonna be a sick place to have like gameplay possibilities, this kind of shattered planet and everything. Um fantastic, really well done. I I did not expect anything like this, I have to say. Um after uh, after the Sonic that I've seen again, kind of like Psychogenesis stuff for me. Um, watched the movie with Jim Carrey, the first one. We really enjoyed it. We just hadn't get a chance to uh, to watch the second one yet. But me and Aaliyah really had fun with it. Um, this is cool, man. I've actually never seen this kind of like Super Saiyan power up Sonic. I've only seen it in art and kind of like people talking about it on Twitter, like, oh, this is so it's a great transformation and everything. But I have no idea in context. So this was fun. This was really cool to see. Um, I like how he moves, like particularly different with each of his transformations. I thought the music was really good. Um, right around here, when he had his like triumphant moment, uh, I want to look at a couple things and break it down for you guys. This is right before this. Break all your toys. Show it. I'll turn over a new leaf. I'm, I'm sorry. The yeah, this part. Listen to this. The Sonic. I'm, I'm so that kind of like triumphant. Like, ooh. It's awesome. It gave me chills. Um, I really like the camera work in the beginning, particularly right here once he starts moving, man. Once he starts moving. I also love that kind of like sprinter stance, too. It's just awesome. And it feels like, you know, we're anticipating he's going to move real fast, you know? And uh, to kind of see that, that load up, it's like, oh, I can't wait. What's he going to do? But again, it's this idea of uh, organic versus technology. You know, he overcomes him with sort of like organic... Um, organic perseverance and kind of these like what seems to be again i don't know all the lore but this sort of organic power like from within him um or from sort of like natural means then you have the unnatural you have all these machines um just a guy hitting a bunch of buttons there's a lack of life there's a lack of care and everything so it's such a cool contrast i really like how they did it yeah this is the part like just the way they capture him, kind of moving laterally um, in and out of the frame, closer to it. Yeah, that part where the camera almost can't follow. We're doing this awesome tracking shot. The camera's keeping up. He jumps out of frame. Hoo! We have to catch up with him. It's like you know, if you're watching uh, you know tennis or something, and the cameraman has to like is to catch up with it. It's such a cool effect, and it added a little bit of a subjective feel to it, as if it was human. So I thought that was sick. It was very good. Yeah, but I like that there's a joy to it in the same way that um, in the same way that Mario has that sort of joy to everything he does. He's fighting against like this horrible monster Bowser. You know, he's fighting against these like really scary creatures if they were real. Um, you know, his life is in danger. Uh, his friend was kidnapped, and he's just like smiling about it. He's loving life. He's he's having a good time. Um, he's not stressing about it. You know, he's just tackling it. Uh, tackling it with a smile. As, as the voice actor for uh, Mario says, um, Charles Martinet, absolute legend. Um, he recently retired from voicing Mario. But um, that's what he says, and I always, that always stuck with me. He's like, what I love about Mario is he always tackles his problems with a smile. You know? It's just this crazy stuff he has to deal with. He's like, 
I'm going to do this. And I feel like that's the same thing here. You know, there's a, there's a joy to what Sonic is doing, even though he's like fighting these death machines and everything, right? And I think uh, I think that's what makes it so fun and, and to root for him and everything. There's a, there's a lightheartedness to it, even though it's quite a serious uh, situation. Uh, there's another shot there. Do you see that? He kind of moves out of the frame. This was a cool trick. He's so fast. It's like, oh, he's up there. He's a little speck. Um, you almost can't distinguish him from the shrapnel. He's just so fast. You little... And it, it gives the impression that he's faster than the bullets. And it's such a cool, such a cool concept. Uh, Charlene says, my eldest 29 has been a Sonic fan since he was four. That's amazing. He even had his bicycle painted Sonic colors. That actually sounds like a sick bike. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that sounds really cool again. Can't blame him one bit. That is so much fun. Yeah, see what I mean? He's even there. He's, he's about to get caught and he's kind of like, eh, I got this. Oh, I got caught. Whatever. And then he transforms here, I think, right? I want to see this transformation again. But you see, he's always got that little smirk, like, I got something on my sleeve. I'm, I'm good. I think that's cool. So, what's the lore here? They're inside his mind? He just kind of meditates and the crystals appear? Like, what's happening here? I like that. He's like, I gotta finish him off right now. We don't see what's happening. And then we hear the music, the triumphant music. So we know. But that's sort of the cool thing about filmmaking with the, the musical cue right there. Um, it's really nice to have this kind of triumphant thing because us, for example, if I had never even seen that, like I was saying, I saw it on Twitter. People are like, oh, this transformation is so strong. You know, he, he's going to fight, you know, well, you know, when people do like um, power scaling and anime like versus different anime characters. Um, if I hadn't seen that stuff, I wouldn't know what that is. Right. So the music is a really cool indicator to tell me, like, oh, that's a good thing. That's a good transformation. Um, as opposed to the last one when he's like a werewolf, that's apparently a really bad thing. I think it's cool. Um, the infinity stones. Yeah. Uh, the angle used from the feet deja vu last year's Macy day parade where his balloon went bye-bye. <laughs> he had to go, man. He can't be tied down for Brady Sonic. There are the Chaos Emeralds, collect them all. Okay, so I have a question. Uh, the Chaos Emeralds. This is an in-game, is this an in-game mechanic? Whereas you, of the player, have to collect them, like they're re really difficult to get. And if you do, do you get that power up? Because if so, I think that's so fun. Um, in this case, to show, like if you played a previous game and that was the best thing you could get, I think it's such a cool idea because with this, it's like, oh yeah, I did that in the other game. And I think, you know, it's cool to see that. If you did it before, it's like, okay, that's now uh, that's now a power that he has access to. I think that's so fun. Really nice shot there, actually. Kind of circling around. Yeah, he's he's just like a comet at this point. And that's what I like about it is, you know, the guns are firing and stuff. He's just, he's already fast without it, you know? So at this point, he's just a freak. And this is the part I talked about. I love this music. And again, there's that sort of subjective camera. Did you see that? The kind of zoom in right there. Just that little bit of camera movement. Did you see it? Makes it human. As if I'm there. And like, Whoa, there's Sonic. Let me zoom in. You know, it makes it feel like, oh, he's so fast. You can almost not keep up with him. Um, and it's cool. I really like it. They do it a lot throughout this. Yeah, so that's probably my favorite stuff. I really like the kind of uh, the choices that make it feel like um, we're there. We almost can't see it, but we're really excited. You know, it was really good. And I, like I said, the mood I think is really well done. And I like how they retain the art style where his mouth is kind of on one side, like that. Ah, 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 ah. It's funny. <laughs> it's fun because you know in the original like Sega Genesis already kind of looked like that. So when you translate a 2D art to 3D, there's these fun kind of artifacts. I like when they try to keep it alive like that. It's fun. But yeah, it takes a dark turn. And I can only assume again that the, this game ends up being like on that planet. But I really enjoyed this. This was fantastic. Thank you. Um, shout out to the Sonic community. <laughs> thanks for all the uh, thanks for all the help and the lore. If you guys want to chime in and uh, teach me, like I said, I haven't played Sonic in a while, but it seems like this was a probably a cool experience. And honestly, what is everybody's opinion on this game? I've 
I have no idea. It could be the best or the worst Sonic ever. I don't know. So you guys tell me. But I loved it. Shout out again to Autophobia for choosing that one. Really enjoyed it. And I hope you guys enjoyed my my reactions to it. Really cool piece. Um, like I said, just fun. Cool mix up. We, we cover a lot of kind of dark stuff on the channel sometimes. So that was a fun mix up. Um, thank you again. All right, guys. Make sure to sub and hop in our Discord if you're new.